Good morning, folks. This was the scene ahead of Isaac in the Caribbean. Word came that a Category 3 hurricane was expected to develop, and those revised predictions of intensity and storm surge sent onlookers to beaches from Grand Cayman to Sarasota. Isaac has made its way over Haiti, where the devastation is already taking place. It's going to get a lot worse, though. You can see Isaac will stay mostly over the water and feed off the Gulf, which happens to have some of the warmest water on the entire planet right now. This is the reason we do expect that Level 3 storm to develop, hit the Panhandle, Alabama, Georgia, and eastern Mississippi. A quick update on the Asian cyclones as well. The little guy on the left off the Hong Kong coastline is actually a level 4 typhoon and one of the stronger storms in years. But the big daddy to the right is stealing the show. A truly rare event, level 5 typhoon smashing Nana and the other South Japanese islands and she's headed for Korea. In other news, oil is washing ashore in Sri Lanka. Some beaches have had to be closed, but it pales in comparison to the oil catastrophe playing out in Venezuela. If you think gas is expensive enough, well, we can't put a price on 26 dead men here, but this is the nation's largest refinery, and I bet our gas pumps can put a price on that. Lastly, a moderate quake swarm is directly on the Atlantic Ridge just south of Greenland. Solar wind telemetry from ACE here shows a constant solar wind speed, the yellow, over 500 kilometers per second. When you get this type of wind speed, the density spikes make an impact, even small ones. In the orange, over to the right side, you see small upticks around 4.30 or 5, and then another around 8. Coming over to the Ovation Prime, you can see what I mean about the intensified bombardment during coronal hole streams. They're right on time, appearing like a CME impact. We have these active regions only to be concerned about on the Earth-facing disk. The one to the right and the one in the south are beta but with solidly developed umbra and probably worth keeping an eye on. The big guy top left is the primary active region though and I said NOAA should label it beta gamma at least. They did not do so. I believe you can clearly see the positive blue separating the negative regions. I think she's got some juice and we may already have our evidence. We've been quiet on flares for days but look here. This is not a flare. Let's check the six hour data up close. It's a rise in ambient radiation. I almost guarantee it's the high power of that sunspot top left turning in as Goes is able to pick up more and more as she gets center disk. Elsewhere on the sun, the dark blotch on the right is the corona hole that's affecting us right now. It's turning away. And here's that beast of a plasma filament. Could be a million kilometers long. We actually have another filament just beneath it. I'll leave you with our latest solar images set to video. That's the news, folks. Be safe.